Hello. In this lecture, we will continue with designing form. After we have create a connection. Now, we will design form to look more beautiful. Open toolbox. Pin the toolbox. I will use the binding navigator first. I already used binding source class. Now I am using the binding navigator control to hold data. Drag to the center. In properties window, it displays as binding navigator 1. Set properties value. Click add new item. Change to none. We will write our own codes. Scroll down to delete item. Change to none. Leave count item as it is. Scroll down to move item. Do not change. Move to the first item. Move to the last item. Move to the next item. Move to previous record. Position item is display position of the record. This item is for add data. And this is for delete data. We will add another button. For example, click on delete button. Copy and paste. Then change to update item. Next button is for refresh. Change name to refresh data. For beauty, I will use separator. To separate icons, you can drag the separator to wherever you want. See, the icons are now separated into groups. This icon is for adding new item. This icon is for deleting item. This icon is for updating item. Last icon is for refreshing data. Change the icon image to be more beautiful. Click on the icon first. Then go to properties image. Select project resource file. Import the image. I go to my storage space which is drive D. Select all files type. I'll use floppy disk image. You can use any images from websites. This image size is 32 by 32 pixel. Select the image and click OK. Now the icon image is changed. You can repeat this to change any icon image. Change the icon text accordingly. Next, move icon. Click on icon. Hold and drag to anywhere you like. I rearrange icons to add new item, save item, delete item, and refresh. That's it for binding navigator 1. If you want to make changes, 
you can come back. This is the basic for now. Save. You can also change forms icon. Go to forms properties. Click on icon. I will use this icon. The size is about 96. You can use any image you like. The changed icon will appear on the top. Next, add a status strip control. Click on it. You can also change icon image here. Go to properties icon. I will add one more tool strip status label. Change labels text to status. I will change the color. Click for color. Change to any color you like. I'll use crimson. You can also change the image for label. Click on label. Go to properties and select image. Same as before. Select image and click OK. The form is looking more beautiful. There are icon images in the status bar. One tip. The icons can display text. Click on icon. Select display style 2, image and text. You'll see text next to the icon display now. Repeat the steps with every icon. I only show you as an example. If you don't like the display, you can use only images. Hide the text by selecting display style to image. You can also hide the image by selecting display style to text. But I'll show both text and image. You can also change the color of text display. Change the text display color by selecting color from four color. Take your time choosing any color you like. Save. Let's test. Okay. That's it for this lecture. See you in the next one. Thank you so much.